Hey everybody, it's Lori. Um, oh god, my Um, I'm gonna do two videos today, so I'll be wearing the same shirt. Actually, I might do three videos today. Um, I just got home. It's been a long week. Dylan got his wisdom teeth pulled today, so he's in bed, sleeping it off. Um, 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 um. I'm going to do, this is going to be last week's top 10 with Skyla and myself. I could actually only come up with nine movies. I heard Dylan yelling in the other room about something. I don't know what. Um, last week was movies that inspired me to do YouTube. This one was really hard for me because the reason I started YouTube was to put Dylan's karate belt, taekwondo actually, belt achievements, I guess, testing, whatever, on YouTube so family in other states could see and keep up with what he was doing and how he was doing. I think the first video I did movie related was a Black Friday haul or Christmas haul that I did after I'd seen a couple of people do haul videos so I decided I'd do one and Dylan would do one. And that's actually that was my first one. These are some that people have recommended to me to watch from YouTube or some that I watched because I heard about them on YouTube um, I, I, I didn't know what to do, so I was at a loss. So here's my list. Like I said, there was only nine. Um, one of them was Anti-Mame. Uh, I owned it and I'd never seen it. And in passing one day, somebody had mentioned the movie on YouTube. So I watched it. I liked it. Most of these I won't say anything about. Oh, my nose. I'm sorry, my nose is just, um, I won't say much about because some people may not have seen them. Oh, Lord have mercy. That is like really bright. Um, oh, oh sorry. Um, the next one is Tenebrae. I'd heard about it from... My friend Nolan. So I got it on Netflix and I watched it and I really enjoyed it. Um, that's all I'm going to say about that one. Um, Dead Alive. That one was hard to track down, actually. Um, I got it for a friend of mine who wanted it really badly. So I found one and I bought it for him, sent it to him. And then I was curious, so I had to find another one. Which a friend of mine actually had it, so I watched their copy. And I liked it. So, like I said, I'm not going to go into detail about any of these movies, except maybe my number one. Um, <laughs> the next one is Brave, the Disney cartoon. Uh, you don't see many redheads in Disney, except like Ariel, The Little Mermaid, which is one of my favorite Disney movies. But I, I really just, I really wanted Brave, and I'd seen reviews, and I'd seen reviews. Finally, I got money for my birthday last year, year before. And I found out for the exact amount of money that I got from a certain person. So, I bought it. Um, this one was a recommendation from one of my friends, Skyla, who loves this movie, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I think so. Um, it's How Comes to Frog Town. I watched it. I, I loved it. It was awesome. Um, then another one comes from my friend James Higgins, and that's Watership Down. It's, I had no idea going in. I know he talks about it very, very highly. Um, I had to watch it a couple times. It, it was kind of unsettling, kind of, I don't know. I liked it. But, I, I, I don't know. Uh, next, I watched 
I'd seen it years ago, but someone I knew, no, made a comment about it, and it made it really special, so I watched it again. Um, and that's Buffy the Vampire Slayer with Christy Swanson. That movie's pretty special to me now. Um, not watching any names, but it's an awesome movie. Lots of action. Um, sweet, cute, tough. Just, it's a special movie. And um, next is Bubba Hotel. I had it. A friend of mine wanted it. So they bought it, and I didn't see it, and I didn't see it, and I didn't see it. And, again, someone special told me that I should watch it, so I watched it with that person, sort of. Long story. Um, loved it. Absolutely loved it. One of my top ten movies, probably. If not top ten, top fifteen movies. The ending kind of sucked, but didn't suck. Okay, that leaves me two more. That leaves me, and they're really a tie for first. Um, I love both of these movies so much. One of them, I had seen one version, but not this version. And again, a certain person. Three of these are because of a certain person. Um, sent this to me, sent me the whole set, actually, and told me to watch this one, so I watched this one. And it's Halloween... The producer's cut. I want to say Chris and Myers. I think that's the right one. Number six. Um, it's like a whole different movie. And watching it with someone who knows so much about it and can tell me stuff to watch out for or stuff that I missed or all of that. It, it just, like I said, it, it was a whole different movie, a whole different experience. And my other one that was number one, <laughs> I bought the Blu-ray before I had a Blu-ray player. I'd had it probably a good year before I even owned a Blu-ray player. And that's Jaws. It's my favorite movie of all time. And like I said, I had the Blu-ray for a year, probably, if not more, before I actually got a Blu-ray player. Um, there's that. My puppy came out. Um, and then someone, actually this is going on four or five movies now, but this someone uh, sent me the Digi book. I, I could never find it. When I did find it, it was outrageous. Um, so this person sent me the Digi book. And I love it. it. It's one of my favorite prize possessions movie-wise. I'll, I'll never get rid of it. it. It's just my favorite in the whole world. Oh, here comes the dog again. Oh, you might not want to walk by. Because I'm videoing. <laughs> so stay with Dylan's here, but he's not feeling too good. He got his wisdom teeth pulled today. So, okay, that was my list of movies that inspired me to do YouTube. I will do my next top 10 in a minute. So you'll see me in a minute, but you'll like, comment, subscribe. Bye.